We are Sorted, a group of mates who have your back when it comes to all things food. From cooking battles to gadget reviews and, it's not worth it. and cookbook challenges to a midweek meal packs app. Crack your eggs and bake. We uncover the tools that'll help us all cook and eat smarter. Join our community where everything we do starts with you. Hello and welcome to Sorted. Now today we've got two of our most normal home cooks, Jamie and Barry, in the hot seat. And we're going to challenge them to blind taste test a selection of ingredients and see if they can pick the premium and by premium, in this case we mean the most expensive. They're also going to get to eat some amazing food as prepped by our food team. So what a day we have in store. Well, if there's two things I'm good at, it's eating and beating Barry Taylor. First up, Jay. As always, two items in front of you, A and B. Have a taste of A. Tell us what you think it is. Okay. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's not, it's, it's pleasant, it just had a little bit of a, gave me a little shiver at the end. Excellent. Natural yogurt. Absolutely correct. It's delicious. It's very yummy. It's creamy. Try B and see if there's any difference. Well, that's got a different texture to it. It's more jelly-like. Yeah, B, it may have been separated very slightly because it feels more watery and it even had a little a bit in it. A is thicker and creamier than B. I think B is ever so slightly more sour. It's time to lock in your answer. Pick the premium, A or B. I think I prefer the finish of A, so I'm going for A as my premium. I would say my premium is A. Take the blindfold off, have a look. We've locked in your answer, so you can't change your mind, but do you think you've made the right choice? I'm wondering whether that separation is more natural and therefore more premium. Well, we can reveal that A is the premium. That is Dalesford Organic Natural Yogurt, whereas B is Onken Natural Set Bio Pot Yogurt. Both of these are natural yogurts, so they've got their probiotics in them. Uh, they've also got no added sugar, so it's just the natural sugars from lactose anyway, um, as opposed to fruit-flavoured yogurts that are often packed with sugar or fat-free yogurts that have a lot more. These are natural yogurts. For me, I'll use it as a, uh, a finisher on a dish, um, just a dollop on top of um, either chilli or a warm salad. To be honest, my usual yogurt experiences either come in a tube <laughs> or they have, it is a pot, but it also has a little side pot next to it with some either chocolate flakes or some chocolate balls. At least we're representing the normal list of normals. So we... Question is, can you taste any difference when it's served with something else? We've knocked you up some delicious granola. We've got granola, fresh fruits, nuts, coconut flakes, and date syrup. And the yogurt's underneath? Yes. Excellent. And the reason we've chosen something like granola and a, you know, a breakfast item is it lets that yoghurt kind of sing through. There's 101 uses for yoghurt in the kitchen, whether it's marinades, into smoothies and drinks, it's great as dips. But specifically here, you might get a bit more of the nuance of yoghurt. Are you tasting any difference? It's very, very subtle. I would have to say that A does look and feel like the more premium product. And you can tell the difference when you're eating it. So B, is generally uh, made from milk that would be sourced from all over, so a number of dairy cows, I mean, UK, Germany, Switzerland, uh, and then it has the three probiotics put into it, and on the label they're named. Whereas the premium one, the Dalesford, is from Frisian cows, it's organic, and it is from cows that have been grass-fed, so you know that it's come from that one location and that one source of milk. But actually, the ingredients in both are pretty on par. Let's talk price. If I were to tell you that the Onken natural yogurt was £1.30 for 500 grams, so that works out at 26p per 100 grams, how much do you think the Dalesford yogurt is? All right, four pounds. Maybe 40p per 100 grams? It's actually £2.49 okay. for okay, 450 cool. grams. So you're looking at 55p per 100 mil. There is a difference, and you can tell the difference. So I think if you're using the yogurt, to celebrate the yogurt as an ingredient in something like this, you'll get a much better experience with A, and it's probably worth spending the money. On a day-to-day -day basis where you're chucking yogurt into various dishes and that sort of thing, B is perfectly adequate. Thank you very much. Nice. Lovely breakfast. Jay, number two. Yes. 
have a taste, have a smell, tell us your thoughts. Excellent. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Spongy, is it a crumpet? That is absolutely a crumpet. Now we're not actually talking about the crumpet itself, we're talking about what is slathered on the top of it. Oh, please say it's just delicious butter. Mm. Oh, it is. We've very deliberately picked something that the butter will stand out with because it melts and drips into the holes. Oh, watching someone eat a crumpet with delicious butter on is really painful. I'm getting far more rich, creamy butter flavour from B than I am from A. B is the more familiar butter. A had was, was saltier, I think. Gonna have to press you for an answer. I think B is the premium. I think I enjoyed A more. A is the premium. Right, we've locked I'm, in your I'm answer. I'm not confident. Take though. your blindfold off. We've actually got the butter in front of you. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like you made the right decision? Yes, I do. Because, because of the shape. Because of the shape. <laughs> A is Tesco British salted butter. So we're talking Red Tractor Assured, British milk, turned into wonderful salted butter. Product B is Sublime Himalayan salt butter from Farmerson & Co. So it is artisanal, it is award winning, um, and it is churned in the heart of Somerset. The question is when it comes to cooking, especially at high temperatures, does it make any difference? Oh, are we about to find out? Do you like some sauteed mushrooms? Oh, boys. <laughs> yes, I would. You're yes. actually a little bit giddy. It smells amazing. It's insane. What you have in front of you, mushrooms on toast. The mushrooms have been fried in oil, finished off with the butters um, and some garlic and topped with parsley, put on delicious crisp toast. They taste very, very similar. It's hard, hard, hard to tell a difference. But B does have that slightly more luxurious, creamy, yeah, feel to it. I can't tell any difference there. I, I did, I struggled with the crumpet. Mm. And here, I'm really, it's really hidden. I, I have no idea. All right, let's talk price. If I were to tell you that the basic butter for 250 grams was £1.49, so that's 59p per 100 grams, would you like to take a guess at how much the premium salted butter was? £1.20 per 100 grams. I reckon it's, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for a fiver. £5.25. So £2.62 per 100 grams. Yeah. I would only use that artisanal butter. Like, I would do it so I'm celebrating that butter because I know I've paid a lot for it and I know that it's really good and it tastes great. A is a perfect everyday butter to use in cooking and baking and things like that. But even that is a step up from what I do generally use. I can't wait for this one. Again, two small bowls in front of you, A and B. Have a taste, have a sniff, let us know your thoughts. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't how you'd usually have it, is it? No, it's no, not. Right, no, right, <laughs> we will, we will give it in application shortly. It's coconut milk. Absolutely correct. A has a much nicer flavour to it, a more rounded coconut flavour. Once you get past the weird texture that you'd never eat like that. <laughs> B has that like big hit of coconut straight away, but then it, it leaves a very oily finish in your mouth. It's far more just the liquid of coconut milk than it is the thick bit. Yeah, B's definitely not as pleasant, I would say. Maybe it's after the last round, but A is more buttery. It coats more of my mouth. It feels more luxurious. Pick the premium. I'm gonna say A is premium. A is the premium. Okay, answer locked in. Lift your blindfold. Does this change your mind? Oh boys, I think I've made a mistake. Now I look at it, A is far more separated, whereas B is far more one consistency. I think I'm good, purely because that looks natural. That one looks like it's been processed. We can reveal that A is in fact the premium. You were right, well done. Yep, so A, is the premium. That's coconut merchant organic coconut milk. And that is made up of 76% coconut extract. Whereas the basic version is a UK retailer's version. And that is 55% 
coconut extract. So in terms of the rounded coconut flavour, there's a lot more of it in the premium one. I didn't think there would be anything in coconut milk other than coconut. The second biggest ingredient is water. And in both okay. instances, there is then stabilizers. You can see the difference. You can taste the difference individually. Can you taste the difference when served in two dishes side by side using each? It's getting better, yes! In front of you, you have a Thai broth with rice noodles, some crispy shallots. It smells outstanding. Same as before, A is the premium, B is the basic. See if you can taste the difference. So very deliberately we chose a broth because hopefully it'll highlight not just the flavour of coconut milk, but you'll also get that texture element as well. That is outrageously good. That is spectacular. Inspired by one of our meal packs recipes. Really? Yeah. Worlds apart. Didn't expect that. A, it tastes fuller and rounder. I'm getting more of the flavours from the Thai broth including coconut from A than I am with B, which just tastes flatter slightly. It's still delicious, and without having them side by side, you'd still go, what a beautiful type broth that is. But having them side by side, A is definitely a better tasting, more rounded broth. I'm shocked at how different that is. I've never had a Thai broth that thick, and it, 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 it's thicker, and it feels like it's carrying more flavor. Should we talk about price difference? Yeah. If I were to tell you that our cheaper basic tin was one pound, how much do you think the premium was for the exact same volume? I don't think it's double, but I think it's close. So one pound 80. Three pound 50. And would you pay three pound 50? I don't buy coconut milk every week. So because of that, I would spend more money on what I now know is to be the nicer product. Well, I can tell you that the premium product is £2.60 per tin. So 65p per 100 mils, whereas in comparison to the cheaper version, it's 25p per 100 mils. But I don't use coconut milk very often, um, but when I next use it, it will be for a special dish, and I'll make sure I buy it as a special ingredient. The thing to take out for me is to look at the tins and get as high a percentage of coconut extract as physically possible. Final one, you have A, you have B, you have a plate, you have a fork. Straight away, I think I know what these are. Go on. These are sausages. I mean, the room is wafting. It is a sausage. Why did you give me a fork? Because we're civilised human do? beings. Right. And I had a momentary lapse of who I was dealing with. Why is it Cumberland? Yes, they are both Cumberland sausages. Good job. Tasty sauce, obviously porky, nicely spiced. It feels quite meaty, but with a decent level of fat in it as well. Most important thing about a posh sausage is the proteins aren't too tightly packed together. It had texture. How about B? Well, it's got it's crunch cigar. to it, isn't it? <laughs> it's so, that is so crap, that's brilliant. Um, it's like mushy inside. They're both very peppery. B is a much crisper casing and it's very one dimensional in the, the meat itself. Which is the premium though? A is the premium. A is the premium. I know my sauce. Blindfold off, have a look. Happy with your choice? Yes, I think I am. 100%. You're dead right, Jay. A is the premium. A is Cumberland Thick Classic Sausages from Farmerson & Co. Fresh sausages, we're talking traditionally crafted, spices, chopped, not minced pork for the distinctive chunky texture. 500 years of tradition and yeah, they come fresh. Whereas B is Ocado's 12 Butcher's Choice British Cumberland Sausages and they are frozen. Would you like to try these sausages in action? There are more sausages. What a day. So in front of you, you have bangers and mash with onion gravy, another dish inspired from our Meal Packs app. Um, have a dig in and let us know if you can taste the difference in the sausage. Oh yeah, what are you doing? You don't use forks when eating sausages, do you? Mr. Big Man, put that down. No, no eat it with your hands. You know, I'm just keeping you consistent. This is a meal now, I'll be civilized. Fine. So B is 
72% pork. So it's about 12% less pork than A. However, because they come frozen, there's very little wastage in the chain. Sausages have always been about using the cheaper cuts of meat and finding better ways to stretch a budget. So they are a more affordable meat. And the fact that those particular ones you can cook from frozen means you'll never waste any, because you only take out the freezer the ones you want, you cook them from frozen. A lot of the stuff is frozen, fresher, than by the time it's got to your supermarket mm. and is deemed fresh. To me, this comes back to buy the best that you can afford when it comes to meat in general. So when buying sausages, are we looking for higher meat percentage and also chopped meat instead of that sort of puree? Chopped or coarsely minced, I think, as opposed to a real kind of puree of, or paste of meat, you want something with a bit more bite to it. There is no comparison. A is the one that you want to eat all day long. Well, we're getting on to price. If I told you that the supermarket range of sausages were £2.50 for 600 grams, so that works out at 20p a sausage, how much do you think you would be paying per sausage for the premium? A pound per sausage. 80p a sausage? 83p per sausage. So £4.95 for a pack. The difference being the sausages are a lot bigger. Yeah. So I think you've still got to look at a per kilo weight when you're buying any meat product. And again, with Farmerson, for example, we know that they have awards for animal husbandry and for the quality of meat and passing on that cost to the farmers. So there's that level to take into consideration when paying that price as well. Buy the best that you can afford. Right, yeah. Baz, three out of four. Yeah. Are you happy with that? I'm against Jamie, so I'm pretty confident. Well, I can reveal that today's winner was... Jamie Spafford with four out of four. I don't think it's ever been done before on Pick the Premium. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've heard our thoughts. Over to you. Comment down below. Is any of the things that we've discussed today going to affect you in your weekly shop? And if it is useful, then of course we'll do more. But what do you want to see? What would you like us to compare next time? It might even be that fresh and frozen thing. Whatever you like. Comment I, down below. I'd like to do some eating next time. No. I don't mind what we do, just as long as I get to do the eating. I'm staying here. Have you ever got to the end of a long day with no ideas, ingredients, or energy to cook? Takeaway? Hmm, it'll be the fourth this week. Well, that's why we built our revolutionary Meal Packs app. Thousands of people are using it to shop, cook, and eat a whole lot better and easier while saving money as a result. You can go and use it in its entirety for free for a whole month and see if it's for you. The link is in the description box below. And now for the blooper. You know you get on a bit when you start enjoying a posh I know. bowl of granola. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with granola. Well, well he's been doing it for years, yeah. but it's a it's new thing with muesli. <laughs> up. I've never heard anyone describe it as up there with muesli. <laughs>